recording accidentally shut down. Don't know why. Seems that my CPU is getting taken up by a bunch of apps that I didn't know were even running. I have to end the phase. Ready to go. Ugh. Gotta love nature. These leaves. Great. This is Ponisera. What's up, Welkin? It's a wild herb that works well on bruises. Just have to grind the stem and leaves down. Alicia, let me put this on your ankle. It... it kind of stings. But I think it hurts a little less now. Thank you, Welkin. Okay, let's push on ahead. We might find more Ponisera growing nearby. Enemy sighted! Searchlights. This is bad news. What do you figure will happen if they see us? They'll radio our location to the mortars and we'll see them land a whole lot closer. Not high on my list of good things. We'd better keep our heads down out here. She gets spotted and so freaking easy.
fucking silenced? Ah! Go. Turn, okay? to go. You vent. Alicia, here's some more Ponisera. Let's get this on that ankle. All right. Oh, thanks. It hurts even less now. That's good, but still, don't push yourself. Hostile sighted! Okay? Together. <clears throat> Can't beat the smell of fresh soil. It's not that bad. 
I've taken a wallop. Ooh, there's some more Ponisera again. Oh, the pain's mostly gone now. Thanks again. I'm just glad it's working. So, Welkin, um, is that stuff edible? Why? Are you hungry? Huh? No, I'm just... I wondered if I could use it in a new bread recipe. Oh, I see. Well, the flowers have a sweet nectar to them, so it could be good. Uh, you tease me. We're sneaking around the woods and you're thinking of baking bread. I don't want to hear it, nature boy. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, let's move on. Harassing <laughs> picture face, like... Go on. No. Shit. Cool thing is, I have to get in there. Moving out. Just give me more walking speed stuff. Looks like I managed to sneak past all right. I wonder if Welkin's almost here. <laughs> I wonder. Ready to go. We should be safe here, at least for a little while. Let's look for a spot where we can rest. Right. It's too dark to cover much ground even if we tried. That was a simple little one. Who'd build a cottage way out here? Not that I'm complaining or anything. How's your ankle holding up? Sorry to make you walk so far. Oops. No, it's not too bad. Don't worry. That's good. Still, let's get an herbal compress on it just in case. It just figures you'd know about herbs, Welkin. <laughs> this here is called Aloe Severa. It's a succulent in the lily family. There's a jelly substance inside its leaves that helps combat swelling. <laughs> I should start calling you Dr. Nature. Very well, Doc. I entrust my ankle's care to you. All right, that should do it. How's it feel? A little weird? No, it's nice and cool. Thanks, Doc. 
I'm just glad we found something to help you. The pain should ease with time, too. So, Welkin, what got you interested in nature to start with? Well, I don't know. I guess it had a lot to do with my dad's influence. General Gunther's? Yeah. Whenever he came home, we'd take a trip collecting bugs in the mountains or... Swimming. Somewhere along the way, going on those trips turned into a love of nature for me, too. The general out collecting bugs? That's unexpected. Maybe so. I guess other people see him as a big, stoic military hero. He had his own share of worries, though. Yeah? My mom died as a casualty of the First European War. I don't think Dad ever got over the fact that he couldn't protect her. But everybody else was always praising him for being a great hero. The war won him respect and adulation, but it also cost him the love of his life. I think that always weighed on him, that question of what he fought the war for. I had no idea. But when he was out in the woods playing with me, he was always so bright and happy. Maybe I fell in love with nature because it always put the smile back on my dad's face. This one here for you guys and I'll see you in the next episode of I can't remember the name still it was great <laughs>